Join me today as I continue to work on this green bird behind me. One thing that I've learnt about drawing is that you need to almost sort of dance between the lines of having some limitation with the work that you're doing, some constraints, but not too much. Because when there's no constraints, when there's no theme, when it's like, hey, let's just sit down and draw something, this is where I and you may too, if you're an artist or if you draw, will run into what we call artist block. And I feel like it's because you almost have too many, you almost have too many options. It's like, what should I draw today? So putting these little limitations or these little sort of themes or ideas to work with, this one specifically being using 35 different shades of green can open a doorway to your creativity. For instance, with my little references here with these little guys that are gonna live in my studio eventually, I can look at the leaf and look at the different shades and the beauty within that specific sort of somewhat boring aspect that you normally might not draw and pull some creative ideas out of that. So it did take me a while to figure this out, but I've realized that you sort of got to be in the middle. If there's too many sort of limitations or too much constraints or pressure of an artwork, then it's not going to feel good to create. But then opposingly, if there's none, you're going to sit down and you're not going to know where to start. And so this idea of doing an artwork with 35 shades of green is not something that I just came up with. It was something that I had actually thought of some time ago. And what I do is anytime I have a random idea, a random thought, I pop it down into the notes section of my phone and I just park it. And then later on, whenever there's a project, there's an opportunity, or I'm trying to think of something new to do, I have a complete list of concepts and ideas that I can go to and use. And the funny thing about writing down ideas is the more you brainstorm, the more ideas that you write down, the more ideas that actually come. You get momentum. So it's something that I try to do on a regular basis when I'm in the mood. I don't force it, but whenever I'm in the mood, just randomly sitting, having a coffee, sort of daydreaming, if an idea pops into my head, I grab my phone, I pop it in the notes section, and then I'm done. And I hope that you watching this find this uh, somewhat helpful. Taylor about the fucking flex. I'm not going to be a Okay, let's keep drawing. slowly starting to come together thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you haven't as yet feel free to subscribe to my channel for this entire month i'm making daily youtube art videos and i'm going to continue working on this tonight but as promised i'll see you guys tomorrow for a new art video